Hi Pisces, this is your September 13th through September 19th weekly tarot reading. I do multiple spreads per reading. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the King of Swords, we have the Six of Wands, we have the Page of Wands and then we have the Ten of Cups clarified by the Three of Wands and we have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You're probably dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So that's the King of Swords I'm talking about. Um, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. This is either an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or this person is very direct, very straightforward, and this person knows what he or she wants, and they go for it. And go for it they will <laughs> with the Six of Wands and the Page of Wands. Six of Wands is a card of a victory. This is a card of a success. This is a card of a proposal. So yeah, back in the day this card used to be a proposal card. And the page of wands is uh, all about uh, passionate communication. You could be flirting with each other. You could be exchanging funny <laughs> pictures. <laughs> and uh, we've got the uh, Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is a golden opportunity. To me personally, the Ace of Pentacles is uh, one of the best, or the best ace in the deck. I don't mean to belittle all other aces, but the Ace of Pentacles is a bundle. It's everything within the same, within one ace. It's abundance, it's love, it's finances, it's emotions, everything, right? It's called a golden opportunity for a reason. It could literally change your life for the better. Even if you uh, take a closer look at the Ace of Pentacles, you'll see there is a pathway in the right bottom corner. This is the pathway to the new life, yeah, with this new person. And uh, we have the Ten of Cups clarified by the Three of Wands as the outcome. Ten of Cups is one of the best cards uh, when it comes to emotionally fulfilled relationship. It could eventually lead to marriage or at least a committed relationship. And uh, it's clarified by the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is both of you making plans together. After the two of you got together and made the decision to go forward together. So yeah, this is an amazing spread. Very straightforward, very clear. Uh, you have a court card, this King of Swords. And uh, they want the victory with you. They are going to present you with the uh, Golden Opportunity Ace of Pentacles right there. And you do have... Uh, one of the best cards when it comes to relationships as the outcome. So yeah, this is an amazing spread, Pisces. I'm not even going to do an extended for you. Because um, this is very clear and I think we all understand where this is going. And it's going in a very nice direction for you. Alright, Pisces, I'm genuinely happy for you. Congratulations. Pisces, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We've got the Two of Pentacles, we have the Empress, we have Strength, and we have the Page of Pentacles as the outcome. You could be dealing with a Leo. So, um, I think this will resonate with a small group, I guess, of you Pisces. The Empress is, in this case, is all about uh, being or getting pregnant. You could be finding out that you're pregnant or you could be uh, making a decision about whether you should uh, go for it or not in terms of should you uh, try it or not. And uh, you're doing it with your significant other, obviously. So this is you with the Two of Pentacles making a decision, trying to figure it out, trying to decide whether to uh, start or whether to continue, if you know what I mean. And uh, strength is most likely you ha will have the strength to uh, go for it, right? And the outcome is the Page of Pentacles. And I think in this case, this page is a child. This is the outcome. So congratulations, <laughs> Pisces. Hopefully uh, the strength card will um, help you as much as it possibly can. And uh, if you've been... Uh, hoping or waiting or trying for some time, then the congratulations again. Alright, Pisces? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Pisces, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. We have the full, we have the Two of Swords, 
we have the Five of Cups clarified by the Five of Pentacles, then we have the Devil clarified by the Knight of Swords, and we have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, or an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Well, whoever this person is, they really did a number on you, with the Three of Swords. The, on the bottom of the deck. So Three of Swords is a card of a devastation, this is a card of a breakup, a heartache, um, just complete devastation, yep. And uh, this person is coming back around um, and they will present to you with a choice or you will be facing a choice with the Two of Swords, the first card from the left. This is a choice card and uh, your options are, option A is the full card. The full card is uh, forget about what happened in the past and take a leap of faith with this person yet again. And option number two is the Five of Cups clarified by the Five of Pentacles. And both of these cards are about regrets, about feeling left out in the cold, it's all about feeling sad, it's about depression, everything negative that, or almost everything negative that you can think of um, in regards to one's feelings when uh, they go through a breakup, there it is. So five, one five is clarifying another five. It's a, it's a pretty significant. This pretty much underlines the uh, the feelings here. So you will have a choice. Do you want to jump head first one more time with this person, or do you want to stay? Yeah, keep this person at a distance from you and tell them no. So the devil card clarified by the knight of swords is actually the outcome. Um, so I have a feeling that uh, you will at least really, really strongly consider going forward. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or the Devil in this case is the card of you feel like uh, you're chained to this person. It could be a karmic relationship, by the way. Uh, the Devil card is very tempting. You feel like you're not over this person. You feel like you're uh, perhaps destined to be together. It's strong feelings like that. And the Knight of Swords is uh, you are actually going for it. Full speed ahead. Full steam ahead. So yeah, think about it. Um, and uh, if you do want to give this person another chance, then uh, go ahead. Even though they did break your heart in the past. So um, just make sure you know what you're doing. Alright, Pisces. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Pisces, this week. We've got the Page of Wands, we have the Star, we have the Four of Cups, and the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. So, um, I think you are going to reject a job offer, or an investment opportunity offer, or a business adventure offer. Whatever offer somebody makes you this week in regards to what makes money for you, I think you're going to reject it. I really feel that this is you rejecting something. It's not uh, you applied for some. It's not one of those times when you applied for something but they rejected you. Because we've got the page of wants here. The page, page of wants is the offer. Somebody is going to be writing you, emailing you, calling you, right? And uh, this job could be a wish come true for you with the star card, it could be your dream job, but for some reason you are rejecting it with the four of cups and the, the ten of swords on the bottom of the deck. I don't know what's going on here, but like I said, it could be a dream job. Unless uh, you are actually going for your dream job and you're rejecting this job that is not does not cut it for you. Perhaps the star in this case is the other job, the second job, and you're getting that job instead of the one you're rejecting right now. So hopefully this makes sense, but there will definitely be a rejection. You'll definitely say thanks, but no thanks at some point during this week. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Pisces, this week. We've got the Three of Cups, we've got the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So we've got two fives here. Oh, so everything 
here except for the three of cups is talking about somebody who's got regrets who feels sorry about something who replays what happened in the past who is uh, depressed who is stressed out about something that happened in the past and the three of cups is uh, most likely this person wanting to reunite with you it could be an ex or it could be somebody whom you uh, used to work with it could be a relative anybody it's really hard to tell here um, so you'll be surprised by either their reappearance and them letting you know that they've uh, been missing you they feel like they were left out in the cold and they want to reunite with you uh, another scenario I see here but this is just for a small percentage of you is that you'll find out that uh, you've been a part of a third-party situation unfortunately three of cups is is uh, every once in a while a third-party situation and uh, all other cards are talking about you just being devastated all right so uh, hopefully it's a uh, scenario number one where somebody else wants to reunite with you okay Pisces and uh, other than that have a great week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other thank you for watching sharing and subscribing